After this video surfaced publicly Tuesday. Yeah, on the ground. On the ground. It raised eyebrows, including by those who know police policy well. There's really no actions that warrant that level of force be used against him. Salt Lake City Police commanded a canine to attack Jeffrey Ryans in late April as Jeffrey's on his knees, hands in the air. Ryans is ready to file a lawsuit saying he's still dealing with his injured leg. The video has people, including former Salt Lake City Police Chief Chris Burbank, wondering why officers took it to this level. Watching it again several times, you don't see any indication that this person is going to flee or they're going to fight. And why it took Ryan's speaking up for the department to notice. It really is alarming that significant uses of force go undetected for this long a period of time. Salt Lake City Police promised immediate steps after this came to light, like launching an internal investigation, including looking at why the use of force wasn't reported to internal affairs back then. Plus, we've been in communication with the district attorney's office. They'll also be doing a review. And the officer was placed on administrative leave uh, yesterday as well. District Attorney Sim Gill told us he'll be screening the evidence to see if any criminal conduct was committed. Salt Lake City Police also asked the state to review their canine program, saying SLCPD canines won't come into contact with the public for now. From here on out until that review is done, that external review, we'll be deploying them still to look for explosives, we'll be deploying them still to look for narcotics. Burbank says canines are a use of force tool and there needs to be resistance to use them. The investigation will come down to answering if this was justified. If you can't say yes affirmatively, then something needs to be done to change this. In Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.